Hello and welcome. I'm Xam and today I'm going to explain you how the overworld editor works. To access the overworld editor you have to click on this castle here, right next to pallets. So this is the overworld, the normal main world and the six subworlds. When you hover over the ghost house, the left ghost house, it will say lay 1 16x16 16 16 editor and when you hover over the hill it will say layer 2 8x8 editor mode. So this is the exact same thing with normal levels. Layer 2 is for the background which you can't interact with and layer 1 is for the foreground. So technically I could just delete everything on the screen and it would still work like the normal but there is no look for it. Then there is also the sprite editor mode but on the overworld, sprites work a little bit different. So, for now I'm going to clear the overworld for the tutorial, but you don't have to do that. You can just edit the main overworld. I'm going to select the layer 2 8x8 editor mode first. Then I can hold left click and select the whole overworld. And delete it with delete, or I can just drag it somewhere. I will drag it here, so I have access to the different tiles. Then I'm going to select the day 1 16x16 16 16 editor and select everything and delete. Now there are some sprites left. To get rid of them you have to click on this icon here which says open edit sprite list and put everything to nothing. So when you're done with that that's now your overworld. Back to the layer 2 editor. When you click on this icon here which says open 8x8 overworld tile selector you have all the different tiles you can use on your overworld. So first we're gonna zoom in and now we can actually start our overworld. Palette 4 is for the normal grass tiles and when you click on this tile right here you will see that the water tile is actually just a grass tile but colored. So you can either left click here and right click here and just make your overworld out of these tiles. Or you can also just copy some already existing tiles from this map here. For example this island. When you click on something, for example I use this edge piece here, you can press flip X to flip it in the X position or flip Y to flip it in the Y position. You don't have always click pl flip X or flip Y, you can just press the X or the Y button on the keyboard. You can also change the palettes, but for now we're gonna stick with palette 4. So this is now my small island, um, we can also decorate it with trees for example. And now we can make some path for the levels. So this is what I came up with, but now we can also change the color of the background by clicking open palette editor window. This is the exact same window as the level palette editor, but we have one more option. We can choose which subworld we want to edit. The main world, Yoshi Island, Venona Dome, so on. And of course the special world, because when you press F3 you can see the subworld palettes. But for now we're just going to change the main area. So we're gonna start with the grass. Then the walls. And then the water. And I like the water a little bit darker. And that's for the coloring. So, someone asked me last time, Yo, Xam, 
how do I make more grass grounds in different palettes on the overworld? To do that, you can use this area here. When you try to use it, it will say the color may be hard cut by ASM. So to access them, you have to click on enable custom palettes. Now we can add our very custom palette. So first of all, we're going in palette four, because that's this one, and then in three, you will see that everything is black. So we're gonna do a purplish color, I think, something like that. Then I copy the, the walls and the floor, of course, and the water. So now we can use these colors here in this overworld, combined with this color here. But be careful when using these colors. These colors are actually used in animation. So, but there is a go around. You can click on Overworld, Extra Options and press on Disable Event Path Fade Effect. And just leave it on Normal. Press OK and you won't have a problem. So, now we're done with the background for now. And now we can go in Layer 1 mode. 16 by 16 editor the ghost house and then we can click on the open layer 1 16 by 16 tile selector p switch now you have all kinds of different tiles the yoshi house the castle the pipes the levels the p switches and some uh, aesthetics for example the stars or the number signs so for now we're gonna place the yoshi house right here then i like a normal level then I like um, a hidden secret level. So I want it to be hidden so you don't see it instantly, but you first have to do this level here. Then I would like a hidden P switch right up here. Um, a castle here. Don't forget the top piece. And how about pipe here? And the end point of the pipe is right here. And the last level is going to be right here. Oh, and maybe a little sign right here. So now we have placed all our tiles, but we didn't connect them yet. When pressing this green path here, you will see in your 16 by 16 tile selector, all kinds of different paths. The green is for walking, the blue is for water. One thing to say is that there are not as many blue tiles as there are green tiles. So sometimes you have to figure out a different way to connect your levels. So green levels, normal walking and blue levels also in the water. So let's try to connect all the pieces. So we're going to start with this piece here. Then we would need this piece here. This one. And this one. This path here with the lines in between means that you can climb up. So we're going to use them here. So now we have connected all of our levels. Uh, one neat thing to do is click on view and click on make all Mario path translucent. But you don't have to do that. I just use it so I can see the levels better. So next we have to actually give the tiles the levels. So we're gonna start with this level here. We're gonna select it and then press on the yellow point which says open modify level tile settings. Then there will be a lot of options. The first one is going to be level number and we're gonna use 105. Then there is event which we're gonna talk on later. And then there is directional to enable when normal exit is used. So when we beat the level, this is the direction Mario can move on. So we're gonna use up, that's correct. For this level, Siyoshi Island, so 104. We want no events and we don't want any, any of these, so we can just leave them on up. Then are these options, initial level setting flags. If you have a level, for example, um, the Yoshi house, and you want to go right, even if you didn't finish the level, 
you can just press enable right. This means that you can go right even if you didn't finish the level. You can do that with all different uh, directions. On this level here, we are gonna click it, make it to level 106. Then we say direction to enable normal exit is going to be right. And the secret exit is going to be up. Click OK. Now the castle. Let's say castle is 107. Normal is down. And press OK. Oh, and we forgot to make the P switch. So that's 14, I think. So to test it, we obviously need a exit and a secret exit. So next we're going to take on animation and showing hidden levels. So first we're going to click on this icon here, which says layer two event editing mode. Now we're going to press page up here in this little section down here. It says event one. When you press it again, it goes up and we're going to hold it completely up till it's 77. Now the overworld looks kind of creepy right now but we're going to delete everything. You don't have to delete everything, but I'm doing it for demonstrations. Now we're going to do the same with layer one event editing mode, copy and delete. Now let's press on layer two event editing mode again and do page down until we are at event zero X one. Next we can press open layer two event tile selector and there will be big tiles here but we're gonna scroll down a few times until we are down here now we can choose any tile we want and right click anywhere where we want and it will appear we're gonna make a path in the right order so we're gonna start right here then a normal path and this tile here and the normal so it's very important that you do it in the order you want to show it to check if you have it in the right order, you can press home and end. When pressing end, you go back steps and when pressing home, you go, go step by step. See the animation? You can even see it right down here. It says step one, step two, step three. So this is the order in which the animation is going to play. Now we're going to take our layer one again, press down here and do it base event for when above level is passed, do it to one since we did the animation on event one. Next, let's do the path to the castle. So we go page up to event zero two and then this tile here, then this tile, this tile and maybe this tile. Now we want the secret to the P switch, but when you press it, you will see that there is no event for secret pathing. That's because the secret path is the event number behind the normal path. So when our base event is two, our secret event is going to be three. So let's go in layer two event editing mode and make the path on event three. But now I have a little problem. I don't have this piece right here. I can't find it anywhere here. So we're just going to edit because when you go in the normal layer two mode, you will see that all these animation tiles are actually just right here. So what we're going to do is copy this piece down here, right next to the next piece. And then I would like to have this piece here. And we're also missing the top pieces. So we're gonna choose this here, this one, and place them. Change the palette, these tiles here. So now we have added two more tiles. Let's go back in the layer two event, go in event three again. And when we check one page after, there are our tiles. 
and of course our other world which is kind of messed up don't worry about it so now we can add these tiles here now let's make these tiles okay that looks pretty good for me now let's go in event 4 because i would like just a little piece right here event 5 so next you will see when you choose the animation the path will appear but not the levels so how do we fix that it's very easy we just click on layer 1 16 by 16 editor click on the level and click on open modify level tile settings and then we select the event in which it should appear so this event here is event 1 so we're gonna press here event 1 on reveal the style on any of these events you can only reveal one tile per level but you can re reveal the same tile for two or more events press 1 and for the p-switch we're gonna have event 3 because 2 was the castle path for this level we're gonna choose 4 and to connect the two pipes it's very easy you just hold alt left click on one pipe and left click on the other pipe and then there will be a window you just choose something which says invalid map and then you choose something else which says invalid map so 1b and 1c for example press ok and that's basically it so one more thing to make the p switch and the castle destroy you check the event of the p switch if you don't has one you just choose one empty one five then you click on open destroy level tile you choose an one which says event nada and change the buff event number to five because that's the number we want to have and for the castle you choose the top part of the castle click on open destroy level tile settings choose the one which you didn't use again and above number two four so for the end before we test it a few things you can do in the other world is open edit message box text here you can change like every message bo box and like the entrance um, text so welcome this is dinosaur land we will change it to hello this is a tutorial by exam have fun um press ok then there is also the open edit submit music selection where we can choose the music we want i want in my overworld the music of forest of illusions so let's test it hello this is a tutorial by exam have fun so as you can hear the music changed and as you can see the overworld changed a lot we can go right or left we can enter yoshi's house but nothing special here just leave it again now we can enter yoshi island beat it and as you can see our animation worked and our level level appeared so next is this level here i'm going to normal exit first Okay, animation worked. Let's go into the castle. Beat it. Okay, it got destroyed. And since it's a castle or a P switch, uh, the game is going to ask us if we want to save. Yeah, let's save. You can use the pipe, and the pipe is going to work. So, one last thing. Let's test the secret exit. and as you can see the animation works and there is our p-switch and when we beat the p-switch level everything worked exactly correct so that's it for the video i hope you guys understand everything and if you're interested in more videos Write it down in the comments, leave a like and let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.